Hi guys, it's Jimmy McIntyre again. Today we're going to be looking at how we can take pictures um, of places which are very frequently visited but manage to get no tourists in our final shot. Now, we all have to face this problem at some time or another as travel photographers or um, cityscape photographers or even landscape photographers. The odd tourist wanders, wanders into the frame and we have to try and remove them. And we can do that through things like the clone stamp or even the spot removal brush. But sometimes it's much more difficult than that. And sometimes you just don't get a free space. So there might be someone walking along and then another person comes in and it just becomes more and more complicated, especially with scenes in scenes where there are a lot of people. Now, if there is a scene where there's a lot of people and they just don't move or they move and someone else replaces them, it's very, very difficult to recover from that, unfortunately. Sometimes you can rebuild that particular part of the image through the clone stamp or through painting it in. Um, but it is very difficult to solve. Unless you have an ND filter, which is huge, and you can leave the shutter open for a long period of time, and then you might actually um, reduce any tourists in your actual image. So, let's look at our particular shot. This is the cloisters in um, Gloucester Cathedral. Now, this was the... At one time, Harry Potter was filmed in here, so it is quite popular with tourists. And when I was shooting this, even though it was midweek and during the day, I thought people might have jobs, but apparently not. And there were a lot of tourists around, especially around here. And I, I simply couldn't get a shot without tourists. But there's a very easy way to take a shot or take multiple shots and to have no tourists whatsoever in the end of your image like this. Um, without using the clone stamp and it's the cleanest way of doing it and I'll show you how some of you may already know this Some of you may not and when you see it you might kick yourself think oh, it's so obvious Why didn't I why didn't I think of that in the first place? So let's go ahead and look at our Original image. This is a zero exposure. So this is the HDR the final image You can see the all the information is brought back into the windows and there's brighter um, There's more information in the darker areas so this is the um, original exposure. Look at all these people walking here. I just want to get them out the way. There's nobody there. And then we go along a bit. And now this bit's free where they were previously. They're not there now, but there are a couple of others here. And now we have two here, two invaders. So, and here we have um, a mixture as well. And we don't really need this final image. So we're just gonna ignore that one and pull in the first two images, the first two shots I showed you. Now, basically what you have to do, if you set your tripod up, you can do this handheld as well, as long as you've got a fairly steady hand. Just take a photo, and um, there we go, and just wait for someone to move. People usually don't stand around for too long, maybe a couple of minutes, or not even that. And especially if someone's walking, it's really easy. Um, to take one shot and then just to snap again 10 seconds later. It really doesn't matter and they'll be in a different position. That's the most important thing. So you're waiting for those people to move to a different place so that they've freed up this, this particular place here so that between shots it's blank. And what we're going to do is we're going to merge them. And now if you're doing handheld, you will definitely have to align these in Photoshop. These are completely straight. Um, they're perfectly aligned already because I used a tripod, but I'm going to show you how to auto align anyway. So you just go to edit, you click on one of the layers, press control and click on the other layer and you go to edit and auto align layers and then just press OK. Now mine, mine's already done, so it's a very quick process. Next, you're going to go down to the create layer mask icon down at the bottom, press alt hold it down and left mouse button on that. And the top layer, you should have that selected, disappears. Next, you're gonna choose the paintbrush here. We're gonna mask it out. We're gonna choose a bigger size brush, for 454 is fine, and it's on white. And when we paint over here, it will actually make the top layer visible. And remember, there was no one here in the top layer. So if we just paint over them, and down here as well and there you go invisible so that's where they were before and that's where they were and now we have a completely clean image and that's it it really is that easy 
just um, as with my last tutorial on Vibrant City Skips, it requires a little bit of foresight. You just have to be patient um, and it might take a few minutes to set the shot up, but just wait and just take a few more brackets. And I actually, because this is an HDR, I did this with multiple images. So you can see my darker exposures there. I had exactly the same problem and my brighter exposures too. So with each exposure, I just went through the same process, saved the um, final image as a TIFF and then imported all three into Photomatix. I, I actually tone mapped this image and, and that was it. We have a completely tourist free um, shot, as you can see. So I look forward to you um, practicing this technique and hopefully you can upload some of your examples on my um, blog post where this video will be hosted. Okay, thank you very much for, for watching, goodbye.